this might be the best cleanup tower in Battles 2 right now, and I'm going to show you why. Let's get it. All right, fun guys. We are on the map um, Oasis here with the Strategy Ninja Elk and Farm. So we start with my Alchemist right here and get my Ob Ocean Omen round one, and we should be full vibing against AK Cuber, who is starting with their Druids. So I assume they're going Druids to farm here. That is my current prediction, because what else would they be bringing? You know, what else would you be bringing on this fine day here, ladies and gentlemen? I think I get one more income boost. I should go get my ocean open down. Yep, we'll place it right here. Perfect. Switch over to space greens now. Get this up on close. We'll get larger potions for that. Perfect. And we should be vibing against these balloons now. Start saving up for my farm. Start saving up for my farm will be the plan. I should be able to defend greens pretty well. And it appears to be doing so. Awesome, awesome. So they start with their druid as normal. One druid start. They got their druid leaks in too. So they're, they're full vibing over there on their side. Get my farm down. Perfect. They haven't sent me yellows yet. Okay, now they're sending me yellows. I'm going to need to get um, a ninja against this. Alright, this should do decent against these yellows then. Let's get um, ninja discipline on it as well. Or do I need ninja discipline? Maybe we can just go for farm upgrades. Do I need ninja discipline? Yeah, we'll go for ninja discipline, actually. And then I'll go for farm upgrades. Let's target these. Throw it down. Place these. Perfect. Go for another farm upgrade. Nice. Send them white balloons. Sharp shurikens. If they send me whites, I go for stronger acid. They are. This should do pretty decent against these white balloons. Uh, I think I need seeking shuriken on this and put on first now. Yeah. Now we should be chilling against white balloons, I think. This should defend, theoretically. I don't think I need double shot here. don't think I need double shot. The Alchemist is just good on this map because you throw it right into that intersection so it hits the balloons at two points. Yeah, it looks like they're done sending me space blocks. One more income boost so I'll get my farm up. Plantation. Perfect. They got their plantation as well. Keep throwing down those living corals. Start saving up for the cross path. Bible bananas, nice. Keep max equal while we're at it too. Base purples this round. We get double shot up. Nice. Sitting mixture dip. Start saving up for the berserker brew. Keep throwing down those living corals as well. We want to keep the living coral untouched because it increases like its poppage per round. So if we can keep them on the map, it's going to be good for me. This will be a really big pile. There will be a really, really big pile if we do that. It's going to be those. Perishing potions as well. That should defend. It looks like it is defending pretty well. Nice. I have enough for a balloon jitsu if he rushes me. One income boost. Yeah, we're chilling. Based rainbows. So that alchemist. We defended those rushes pretty good. Pretty well. Stop peeking for a second, build up a farm for round 14, because round 14 is a really quick round. We want to get two plants up. Just so we have some selling power in case he sends me like a random all out. Two plants is a good idea. 
Alright. We'll cross about this one as well. Wait, he's sending me a rush. We'll boost this. Yeah, if he sends me an all-out rush, I need to be ready. Alright, looks like they aren't going to. We'll sell that and start maxi going. Some, some aggressive rushes from my opponent there. I thought they were going to do that thing where they send a big rush on round 15 to bait boost and then all that round 16, but it didn't look like they did that. I thought that's what their plan was there. Because some people do that. But we would have been able to defend because we have two plants to sell. So I would have went Flash Bomb and Bloon Jitsu with the fourth tier Oak buff. And then I probably would have went for a um, Transforming Tonic as well. Because I could have afforded that. And that would defend. Pretty well. But now we'll just max Eco. Now uh, we will just max Eco. Keep throwing on those Living Corals is important. Also, when I placed that Flash Bomb, I should have placed it right here, to be honest, because my old spot, I don't think, was buffed by... Yeah, it wasn't buffed by my Ocean Open. Well, I guess I could buff it by my Ocean Open if I placed it, like, right there. Yeah, that's where I should have placed it. It's all right. Go for another farm here. I'm going to go really high eco this game. Probably, like, almost 3,000. I've been watching Sambo play this strategy, and he normally plays super high eco, like 3,000, so... I think I might do the same and see how that works out for me. A higher eco approach here. Should be fine against this Moab. Yeah, we're chilling there. We're chilling, we're chilling. One red balloon left behind. Look at that. Stolen the round out. That's exactly what we want. Throw it on the living coral. We'll send him one of these. Force some defense with that. AP darts. All right. We'll get a lot of money from my eco in round 24. That's the round we're kind of like banking on. Round 24 is a really long round. Okay, we forced some nice defense there. Take that. Almost 3,000 eco, which is what we want. Three thousand eco, perfect. I sold my elk buff by the way. I wanted to fill the trees, so I sold the elk buff. So then my these trees would get full. They're going for a bank for some reason. Okay, interesting. Don't really know why they're doing that. How much do they sell for? Nineteen k, twenty three k. So I need twenty k on hand. IMF alone. I vote Ford. Alright, he's sending this. I'll just go for a BMA. Or better yet, I'll just go for Master Bomber. Yeah, it should defend pretty well. Six stacks. Seven, eight, nine, before a 
Unstable concoction there. Ten. That'll defend. I don't think I need to boost this or anything really. Yep. And we have 3,000 eco on top of that. So I mean, I don't really know how they plan on winning this one. I'll just send them some DTs and that should be a GG. Whoop, GG. All right, I'll catch y'all in the next one. All right, guys, our next match here is against Mr. Moon Sush on the map Banana Depot with the strategy uh, bomb sub and farm once again, because, you know, your boy Ryan Mahalik loves this strategy on this map. I've been having a lot of fun with it recently, so we'll start with my bomb right here. Get the extra range on that bad boy. we flag bombs here in a second. Put on first, let's try to pick up some of those leaks. Possible. Put you back on last now. All right. Revive, and looks like they're starting with their texture there, and I think they brought Pad as well, which is interesting, because... I never really see Pad on this map, to be honest. This is one of the maps where I don't really see Pad. The two strategies you see on this map most of the time is Bomb Sub Farm, which I'm using, and um, Attack Wiz Farm or Attack Wiz Bold, and both of those use Quincy normally. So, see how this goes for them, though. See how this goes for them. I should should have gotten my Cluster Bombs down there, but I missed it. We'll get down now. Alright, we're fiving. They got their Pat down. Well done. Their Pat's going to be buffing their Attack Shooter. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Pat's better to buff the submarine though if they have sub. Like the pat with the reactor is really strong. So if I were them, I might have been it might have placed pat somewhere like around here to buff the reactor. But I guess that's a worse pat spot overall too. So it's you gotta think about it from both angles, I guess. Like pat buffing stuff, that's good, but also pat dealing the damage. There's two angles there you gotta think about. Get my farm down. Nice. Keep on eco and we're sending them some spaced pinks here. They got their blade shooter up. Curious as if they have farm or what their farming tower is here, because they've got to have a farming tower. They are going spaced eco here. It wouldn't make sense for them to just have pure eco. They've got to have a farming tower here. My biker bones down. Perfect. Spaced whites at them. If they send me spaced whites, I'll probably have to go for bigger bombs on my side. If they don't send me spaced whites, then I can chill. No, oh, they're sending me them. Let's get bigger bombs up. And now we should be chilling against these. Still 100 life, 103 lives. So we're um, vibing on the life count, which is fantastic. We are vibing in that department. We'll just keep farming, get this increased production up. Nice. Yeah, they're sending some slow eco. They've got to be placing a farm down here soon. Or a boat. Yeah, it's, it's boat. So, dude, they didn't need to go for all those tack upgrades then. Because, like, they have Pat helping them out, right? And then they, um have a blade shirt already they didn't need to get both the faster firing upgrades because their boat farms are also going to supplement some defense so they definitely um got a little bit too many defensive upgrades there i think more than they need at least on that attack shooter especially when they have boat farms working for them especially when they got the boat farms working for them they don't need that many attack upgrades we won't need my heavy bombs till round nine which is nice that's a nice part about bomb on this map it's so good you don't need that heavy bombs in round five. Where like most maps with bomb, you need heavy bombs in round five, which is obviously really expensive. Yeah, we'll get this plantation here pretty soon. One more income boost. Get it up. What's their camo detection gonna be then? Right? I guess they have space for a submarine to place. Prob it could be wizard still. I guess it could be still be a wizard, but I don't know why you'd bring Pat and Wizard. Space zebras. They didn't send me any zebras, so I don't even need my heavy bombs. We'll just go for straight for the farm. Perfect. They clear the bottom obstacle. Oh, it's mortar. Okay. It's mortar here. Interesting. I don't know why they didn't go biker with mortar and they went pat. That is definitely um a decision. Place the submarine as much to the right as possible. Perfect. That should be a pretty reliable decamo. My eco is looking actually really good here. I'm happy with my position. They send me ceramics. I'll probably just boost against it. And then a rerush. I can get a reactor or something. Not really going to send them a rush. Because we... um They already have a decent amount of defense to be honest. 
I mean, I could probably force some more. Maybe I'll send them a couple of zebras. But they might just force pot ability and they might be good. Okay, they go pot ability. We'll send a re-rush in a little bit. Which go pretty small rushes, but trying to force a little bit out of them. Okay, we forced a boost. Maybe I send a re-rush and just force a Maelstrom real quick. Or we forced another mortar. They got to micro their mortars though. They got to micro their mortars. This is the problem of not having biker, dude. That's the issue of not having biker. You saw they popped down the rainbows, but then um, it all just regened again, I think. All right, guys, the last match of the video is on the map star versus my man Bratman. So we're going the strategy of Ninja Alkin Farm here. So we will start with my alchemy tower right about here. Perfect. I think they brought Ocean Oven as well. So they might be bringing an alchemist too. They actually start with their Dartling though. They did bring Ocean Oven though. So I wonder what Dartling Ocean Open strategy my opponent is bringing today. I am very curious. Call me Curious George, bro, because I do not know what is going on. This alchemist should do pretty well though. I'll get my ocean open down pretty er soon right there. Perfect. The and I'll switch over to green balloons here. Put this on close now. Nice. Come on, get this up to a larger potions. They got their ocean open down as well. But they got their ocean open on round two. They might be going Dartling um, Village Super. They could be going Dartling Village Super with Ocean Open, which is extremely good late game, but it's very, very bad early game, so. If they are going that strategy, we probably will be able to get an early victory against them, but we will see. We'll see. That could be their strategy, though. Darling Village Super, Ocean Open. Normally, with Darling Village Super, you bring other heroes that are better for you early game, because bring Ocean Open, your early game is rough, bro. Your early game is absolutely rough. All right, they got their powerful darts up. They're chilling. They're chilling. Start saving up for this increased production. Nice. We'll get that greater production as soon as possible as well. Maybe I should have moved my ocean open a little bit more to the right because it can't reach over. So I wanted it to the left though so I could target these bramble, this living coral like far out. You know what I mean? Why can't I target it like back here? That's weird. I don't know why I can target it like all the way back there. But the thing is we are facing eco here which is actually kind of nice because it allows me to greed really hard. You face eco, you can defend quite a bit with just an alchemist, so your greeting potential is quite uh, quite high. Or if you're facing like a farm strategy, there's a lot of space to eco, so greed's a little bit less. I'll get this farm down here pretty soon. There's some greens here. I'm gonna need to get um, I'm gonna need to get stronger acid, I think. Another greater production farm, perfect. This appears to be defending greens pretty well. The only downside is we aren't anti-stalling at all. These rounds are being absolutely stalled, and I can't really anti-stall well with my strategy early game. It's the rough part here. There's not really anything I could honestly do to get a good anti-stall these rounds. We kind of just gotta let it be. Uh, they're sending me black balloons. We got ninja down. How does this do against black balloons? Appears to be doing decent. We want to get this plantation as soon as possible. I'll probably I'll boost against yellows as well. Double shot. Perps. Perishing potions. We're good against these. We're good against these. Actually, I'm not good against these. Get another alchemist down real quick. Now we're good now. We're good now. Alright, that was a little scary. Big yellow rushes can be scary with Ninja Elk. They can indeed be scary with Ninja Elk. It's in them region zebras here.
they go for a ninja. Darling ninja alchemist, maybe? They're going to have to boost this, right? Yeah. They might be screwed round 11. I don't think they can afford the defense round 11 here. We're doing a bit of a layer before the round starts. Yeah, they're dead. GG's. Well, that is the end of the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe button down below. It helps me out so much. Right now, like out. Peace, lads.